Welcome to Asterisk Essentials, brought to you by Digium, the Asterisk Company. We're glad that you're here, and we're excited to start teaching you all about Asterisk, the world's premier open source telephony platform. Before we get into the training videos that make up this course, we want to take just a few moments to talk about the format of the course and to make sure you know how to get the most out of this training. Asterisk Essentials includes 14 chapters with about 5 modules in each one. Some modules are just a few minutes long, and the longest is still less than 15 minutes. We've tried to present each chapter concisely enough that you can take the content in a single sitting, but thoroughly enough that it's a good investment of time. To find this balance, we had to carefully choose what knowledge to offer in the course. There are plenty of asterisk details, tips and tricks, and other information that we have not included here. We have really focused on just presenting the most important and practical information about asterisk. You'd expect no less from a course called Asterisk Essentials. The content of this course is broadly divided into three main categories. Several chapters focus on Asterisk fundamentals, including how it's installed, how it processes calls, and its basic features. Other chapters cover the various protocols Asterisk supports for making and receiving calls. We'll discuss the SIP and EX VoIP protocols, as well as the more traditional telephony technologies. A third set of chapters is devoted to the asterisk dial plan. This is where asterisk's call routing behavior is defined. We'll start off introducing very simple configurations for dialing from one phone to another, but throughout the course, we'll gradually introduce dial plan concepts that grow in power and flexibility. By the end of the course, you should have a very solid grasp not just of what asterisk can do, but how you can make it do it. The three broad categories of content in this course are not presented sequentially. We've been careful to present the chapters in a very specific order because so many concepts that apply to later chapters are introduced in earlier chapters. So all three categories of chapters will be intermixed throughout the course. We encourage you to view the chapters in the order they're presented, but you're certainly welcome to skip ahead if there's a chapter that seems particularly relevant to your immediate interests. You can come back to view an earlier chapter if the content in a later chapter builds upon ideas with which you're not yet familiar. In several of the later chapters, we recommend specific modules to review to make sure you understand the appropriate foundational concepts before proceeding. This course was designed to be instructional and valuable even if you don't have access to an asterisk system where you can implement what you learn as you go through the material. Dozens of configuration and dial plan examples are included in the course, and there are numerous screenshots and recordings of actual Asterisk console output. So, you should be able to learn the essentials of running Asterisk even if you don't have an Asterisk system at your fingertips. However, we recommend that you do get access to a Linux system if possible. We'd like you to be able to install and run Asterisk while going through the course. There's no substitute for hands-on experience, and the examples that we present are designed for you to be able to replicate them on your own system. This course was designed with three primary goals. First, we knew we needed to cover the asterisk content that is most essential and practically useful. We carefully selected the material for this course and worked hard to present it in a concise, content-dense manner designed to get you up and going fast. We didn't want to lose momentum or focus by getting sidetracked with non-essential information. Second, we work to find the right balance between introductory ideas and deep technical concepts. This isn't a survey course that just introduces Asterisk at a high level. This is a hands-on, practical guide intended to teach you how to run Asterisk for yourself. So we don't avoid technically complex content. But we do try to be thorough and complete when presenting it, so you understand why you're doing something as you learn how to do it. Finally, we recognize that Asterisk is so complex that most people don't need or want to memorize every single setting or behavior it offers. So, while we teach you about Asterisk, we also teach you how to learn about Asterisk. There are numerous resources, both internal and external to Asterisk. We'll introduce these throughout the course. It's often more important to know where to look something up than to directly remember it. We're passionate about Asterisk training, and we've worked hard to create a course we think you'll find valuable. We also welcome your feedback about the course, especially if it can help us improve our training products. If you'd like to contact us about this training, you can do so by clicking the Give Feedback link on the right side of this page. In the box labeled, let us know how we're doing. We'd like to hear from you. And now, let's learn the asterisk essentials.